Hi, my name is Giselle. I'm here with my sister Emily. The date is May 25th, 2021. We are recording this interview in Chicago, Illinois. Emily, what is a lesson that you learned or something someone told you that has always stuck with you? Well, one thing that I've learned throughout the years was that no one else is going to be able to defend you but yourself alone. And the reason I learned that was because, like, when I was a kid, I would try to defend people, help people. But at the same time, no one was defending me. I was the one getting in trouble for certain things. And, well, I started to learn and grow that I I know that I can defend myself and that no one else is going to. Okay. Once you are gone from this world, how would you like to be remembered? I would like to be remembered as a person who... I don't know. I'm... I'm basically a person who likes to talk to a bunch of people. There's a lot of people that know me. And, well, the thing that I found interesting was that when I asked them, what is one thing you guys remember me of? It is basically that I break them out of their shells and let them be comfortable with me and talk to me like if I already knew them. And I just want to be remembered as a person who helped them out and helped them become their true selves. Okay. What was your favorite memory or memories that you had as a kid? Well, I had a bunch of favorite memories. I guess one of out of all the favorite memories I had would be when me and my cousins and siblings would dress up as our parents and act like them in front of them. <laughs> we'll take away their clothes and just put it on and start acting like them. And they'll just start laughing and everything. Uh, another favorite part of my memory would be when my cousin he's the oldest he would teach us how to fight so whenever he said it was self-defense like if anything or anyone wanted to hit us we already knew and we learned at such a young age that i liked it because like you never know what you can come against to what is a memory that someone else has told you that you don't recall? Like your parents or uncles, aunts? Mm, I would say a memory would be... Um, I don't remember. On the top of my head. It would probably be that I would be very mean when I was little. I really do not remember that. There's this one situation where I was looking at this man, one of our friends, or I think it was an uncle. And, well, I was looking at him all mean. And he said, he said that I didn't even want him to be near me or anything. And that I would just make faces to him. And he's all like, I don't know why you did that. You look just like your mom when she would get mad. And that's one thing I don't recall. Okay. Who are your idols or role models and why? My idols? I don't really look up to people. But I can say that people who have brought me out and showed me the real true me would be my friends, some of my family members. Um, let's say famous people I've looked up to would probably be, I do not remember his name, but he's a business, he's an entrepreneur, and well, he's helped me grow in many ways, thinking differently outside the box. I know that, I think that's all. Okay. 
What is your best accomplishment? Or who or what are you most proud of? Um, first I can start off with who I'm most proud of. It will be my sister. It will probably be because she is such an anti-social person, man. Let me tell you. And I'm such a social person, outgoing person. It's like, no, it does not match the vibe. And well, the thing that I'm proud of is that this, these two past years, I've made her break out of her shell. Like sometimes I will even force her to go order up because like, I feel like, what if I'm not here? What are you going to do? Not order or just be quiet and let another person order? And well, she's been coming out of her shell and she's been social, unlike she was years before. And a thing that I'm, uh, um, that I have accomplished, that I feel like it's very big in my life, would be having a job while also going to college. And let me tell you, it is very stressful. And I'm so happy that I came out with A's and B's. And one C because the grades that I got most was A's. And I'm just like, how are you able to do that with the job that's that you work five days a week? And that on the weekends you barely got enough time to do any homework because you work what? Ten thirty to seven? Which is very stressful because sometimes you have assignments due at 11.59 and sometimes I don't even got the time because like school and work get in between so that's just one thing I felt accomplished in my life